Hello, I'm Fred Cummins, one of the directors of the MSc in Computer Science by Negotiated Learning. You can see there my co-director, Rem Collier, and our program manager, Travis Grodewald. The NS MSc in Computer Science by Negotiated Learning is a unique degree offered by University College Dublin that can be completed in 12 months. It has certain characteristics that you should know before you apply. The first thing to note is that the program requires you to have a strong computer science background. This does not mean that you have worked with computers, uh, that you have industry experience. It means that you actually have a solid academic background in computer science. And you also must have the skill of programming. So this is not a beginner's course. You will be a potential candidate for this course if you can program well in more than one language, if you know some of the theory and formal foundations of programming, you're familiar with um, algorithms and data structures, and you have the mathematical foundations, which typically include some facility with statistics, linear algebra, and calculus. Those of you who do not have a computer science undergraduate degree, but may come from adjacent areas, may or may not meet these criteria. In particular, applicants with an um, electronic engineering background frequently have some, but not enough, of these qualifications. We, of course, review each individual application, and we will take industry experience into account, but this program is designed for those who have a solid foundation. We make use of a large suite of modules covering a great deal of territory in this, mod in this program. You can see a URL for a web page at the bottom of the slide there. And if you go there, you can browse the list of modules. There are more than 80 modules on offer to get a sense of what is available within the program. By exploring this page, you can uncover not only the modules, but by clicking on the module name, you can find out what the prerequisites are, what you'll learn, and how you'll be assessed. They are all within what's called a module descriptor. So have a look around and see what all is on offer. But then how do you go from having this kind of wealth of offering to having a concrete program of study? Well, the way we handle this in this program is that we arrange at the start of the year, before lecture start, each incoming student has a student needs assessment interview. In this, you sit down with one of the staff who teach on the program. You introduce yourself and describe your learning, prior learning, your career goals, your interests. You will have looked through, through the modules and you will have made a note of those that you are interested in. And then together with your advisor, you work on those choices in order to ensure that you have a timetable that works. Because we have so many modules, they can't all be taken together. Some of them will overlap. Um, we'll have lectures at the same time. So we use this one-on-one -on -one session to ensure that you arrive at a personalized timetable that suits you. In the program, there are two taught trimesters of modules and the summer. In each trimester, you take what we count as 30 credits of modules, and a single module is usually five credits, but sometimes 10, and occasionally other values. So we expect 30 credits in the first trimester, 30 credits in the second trimester, and then there's a further 30 credits that are earned in the summer. So this is a 12-month program, not a nine-month program. Um, in the summer, there are three possible options for those 30 credits. The default option is that students work on a team software project. This is a very practical exercise in collaboratively building something of worth and value, and students work in teams of four to six students each. The second option, and a very popular one, is to do an industry internship. We work closely with many industrial partners um, in order to make these internships available, and they come online as the companies make them available, so typically after Christmas. They are competitive. 
Although about half our students typically succeed in obtaining internships, not everybody does, and you should not assume that coming into the program you will be doing an internship. As I said, we are limited by the supply of available internships, and so they are awarded on a competitive basis. In order to gain an internship, it is thus important that you do well in your first trimester. A third option of relevance to very, very few students is that you may strike up a relationship with an individual faculty member or someone working in a research group and become interested in a specific kind of research that is done at UCD and then the option opens up of a, a negotiating with a supervisor to write an individual dissertation in which you will work on some project in which the supervisor is um, capable of supervising. This will only apply to relatively few students, but it is also a third and very important option. So at the end of this, what we have is a bespoke degree, one that's tailored to your skills and your interests and your ambitions. The choice of modules arrived at will hopefully be specifically geared to what it is that you are interested in. Because of the individualized nature of this degree, graduates from the program are in high demand by industry. Ireland is home to very, very many of the major IT companies of the world, um, and our students typically get jobs without any particular problem. Um, but once more, this program is set to, to launch you on an individualized trajectory, um, so there's many places you can go afterwards. And UCD is a research-rich environment in which teaching and research are seen as complementary and you will be exposed in your time at UCD to the research projects and interests of our staff members. So we look forward to receiving your applications.